Hello everyone, Frank DeMore with The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth and today is the 10th of February 2012. If you just found my YouTube channel, please go to my prophecy site, BibleProphecyMan.com and when you're there you'll see the book. Right below it is a link, click the link. You can download this documentary on Bible prophecy and current events today for free. Now, what I'd like to do is get into some prophecies of, from Jesus talking about what to look for in the last days concerning uh, the signs of the sun, what's going to happen from the sun, and obviously how it's going to affect the people in the last days. And I'm going to bring to your attention two of the warnings by Jesus. Uh, first of all, in Revelation 16, verse 8, the Lord said this, The fourth angel poured out his bowl on the sun, and the sun was given power to scorch people with fire. Now remember, this is going to happen during the tribulation period. So if you haven't received Jesus as your Savior yet, then you can count on uh, these effects hitting you during the tribulation period because you will not be taken away at the rapture of the church unless you receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. And the Lord has given us this warning to allow the people uh, to understand this and to give them obviously the free will to choose whether they want to be with the Lord or against them. And I don't advise being against them. And then in Revelation chapter 7 verse 16 the Lord tells us here again Never again will they hunger. Now, the, the people that he is talking about, the Lord is talking about or referring to, uh, are the people who are in the tribulation period. So, if you don't receive Christ, that would be you in this context. And then he goes on to say, never again will they thirst. So, we know that the people who are going to uh, be left behind are going to have the effects of the sun and part of the effects of the sun, if you're going to be hunger or hungry, then we know that obviously something has happened to the crops. And you just, all you have to do is put two to two together and you'll know that extreme heat kills, scorches, not only people, but crops. And so there will be lack of food. So not only with the sun scorching the crops, we also know that if you have this intense heat, obviously it's going to dry up the water, the drinking water, and there you have the warning, never again will they thirst. So if, again, if you plan not to receive Christ as your Savior, and you're left behind during a tribulation period, this is what you'll be facing during that seven-year period of time. And it goes on to say that the sun will not be upon them. So we know that during this tribulation period, that the intense heat from the, uh, the sun will be pouring out on the unrighteous people who were left behind during the tribulation period. Nor any scorching heat. So there you go. It's very plain. Now, concerning these last day's events, the Lord told us that these things, these events would be taking place in the last days as birth pangs. And you can see the scripture here, nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There will be earthquakes in various places and famines. These are the beginning of birth pangs. Now, all of which we were told to look for in uh, the 13th chapter of the book of Mark, or the 24th chapter of Matthew, and the Luke 21, we're seeing the beginning. These are here already, the beginning of the birth pangs. Now, from my post of July 15th, I'm just going to give you a small glimpse of what I've been warning about because I've been tracking what's been going on with the weather for some time now, showing you the signs of what the Lord talked about concerning these birth pain signs. So in that post of July 15th, it says, The combined global land and ocean average surface temperature for June 2011 was the seventh warmest on record and it gives you the temperatures that it was and then it goes on to say above the, the 20th century average now this was just a small reflection and you'll see why I'm doing this is because things have been getting worse and uh, there was a prediction that was given and you'll see the this article the the information came from the NASA 
2012 likely to reach record high global temperature according to NASA. In contrast, it is likely that 2012 will reach a record high of global temperature. And then, given the association of extreme weather and climate events with rising global temperature, the expectation of a new record high temperatures in 2012 also suggests that the frequency and magnitude of extreme events could reach a high level in 2012. So there's a prediction that was given and when you go to my website you can click this link and you can read the full prediction. So what I showed you is a small glimpse of what you know what was happening in July 2011. You have the agency telling you what they believe is going to happen in 2012. Now let's go look and let me show you what the newest information is. It's referring glaciers and you know glaciers melt because the temperatures are getting warmer and this is part of the birth pangs that uh, <clears throat> Lord warns us about. It says the glaciers are melting by the billions of tons, 150 billion tons of ice each year to get exact. With all that meltage the former glaciers are adding 0.4 millimeters to the sea level every year and to put this into perspective the additional water added between 2003 and 2010 could cover the entire U.S. in about one and and a half feet of water that's pretty significant of course this climate change business all has some scary implications for humanity and the earth's other inhabitants but this this research could help the earth is losing an incredible amount of ice to other to uh, the oceans annually and these new results will help us answer important questions in terms of both sea rise and how the planet cold regions are responding to the global change of course this came from the researcher as I said from the and ASA. Now in January 2012 was warm. So it seems like every year we're seeing the same kind of pattern. It's getting warmer and warmer. Ice is melting. It says speaking of the climate change, science has confirmed that the instigram and or the Punxsutawney fill already knew. Uh, this January outwarmed previous winter's first month. And it didn't come any surprise to me because the scriptures are very clear what we're going to be see concerning the sun, intense heat that will be pouring down. And you'll notice in this article it says this is the fourth warmest January on record. So again, birth pains, yes. Signs of the birth pains, well, you better believe it. Now, with this, when you click to the link, when you come to my prophecy site, uh, you'll have a link where you'll be able to click to the map and it shows you the, the temperatures that are taking place in the United States. Now, as I said, I've been tracking this and the information that I'm going to be showing you now comes from my book, The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth. So what I gave you today was just a very, very small glimpse of what I have written uh, as far as the documentation in the book. Now for example, let me scroll up, this is on page 173 because I'm scrolling down here. You know, I give you all types of news that shows you what's taking place with the droughts, what's taking place with the water, what's taking place with the sun. You'll see how it's affecting the crops, the prices are going up, by the way, all of which these are warnings in the scriptures. And uh, Jesus even talks about the wheat and how people will be working all day long for a quart of wheat. And uh, if the sun keeps scorching this planet and dry, drying up the water and causing these massive famines and droughts, you better believe that the prices of wheat and other products such as soybeans are going to continue to rise. And I show this in my book. And so you'll see the different again. Here's the worst drought in 50 years, threatens it. Uh, Cuba's already a meager food production and you'll notice that I, I cite every place that I've gotten this information from and uh, the temperatures are going up, the sun is getting hotter, the ice is melting and it's causing massive problems. 
And so is the Lord's warning coming to pass? Yes, it is. Do you believe it? Well, I'm going to leave that up to you. What I'm giving to you is what the Lord showed us in the Bible. And I made it really easy for you. And I put all the information, all the news connecting to the fulfillment of what Jesus warned for you in my book. And it is my hope that when you read my book, you will be encouraged to go into the Bible and to begin studying and having a relationship, a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And above all, I'm praying that my work would, would help you to make that decision for Christ, knowing that only a living, true God could have told us all these things way in advance, as he said, and uh, then you will know that it is a living, true God that is coming back soon. So please, take advantage of the last chronicles of planet Earth. And uh, I'm praying for you, and I'm thanking you that you even now allowed me into your home uh, via the YouTubes and my website so that I can keep you updated on what's happening in the current events.